Hello, and welcome to the Getting Started series with ServiceWorks. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your Service Bench Warranty Claim Processor. We have opened up our configuration panel. We're going to go to Integration, and you should see Claim Processor Setup. Now, if you don't, you can go to Configuration, Job Settings, module visibility and then if you check these then for the create warranty jobs then your settings will appear in your integration section so we'll go back to claim processor minus blank yours may be as well if you're just setting up your account click the plus symbol here and we will type in service bench and we'll type in service bench again and this is just for when it shows up in the list you'll be able to identify it quickly now i will say when you're setting this up do not put a space between service and bench uh, the space throws things off and system doesn't like it very well um, if you're giving a user id you can enter that here username put that in your password that they've given you or you may have set up on their website uh, whether you're going to be submitting for cost or price uh, you can choose to auto accept uh, warranty work from them or send sub status we're going to go ahead and click save now this tells me that my login credentials failed I got the error message because I don't actually have any Marco and credentials you should not get that message when you enter yours now, if everything works correctly, you will have green check marks here, especially on the verified. The auto accept, I did check mark that, so I have a green. I did not check mark the send sub status, so it is red. If you've checked both of those check marks and your credentials are good to go, all of these will be green. If this stays red, there is some type of login problem you might have to go to the Marcone website and make sure your password and user ID is set correctly um, that's pretty much it uh, once you set this up it usually takes about 15 minutes uh, for the link to sync and you'll start seeing the service bench jobs appear on your schedule um, if I go to my schedule you'll see here that we now have a service bench dispatches and those will begin appearing on the calendar again if I've selected the auto select if I haven't under the bells you will see orders and tickets and what's new I uh, believe under tickets you will begin to see your service bench and service power which we're going to cover in another video you'll see those tickets to begin to populate here so you can accept those tickets if you do not have auto accept on Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.